in the House here. Yeah, if you don't think there's a transition going on in the GOP, just think about Clint Eastwood talking yes. to a chair, okay? And, um, this is a very different mood here. Tonight. We had Hulk Hogan rip his shirt off earlier, yeah. and this is Kid Rock, and we're getting ready for Dana White. By the way, all of these folks are dear friends of former President Donald Trump. They've gone back for years, yep. and they said they wanted to support him. This song, obviously, uh, coming right after that assassination attempt, telling people to put their fists in the air like he did yeah. in that image that's now so iconic and indelible. Britt, have you ever seen of All of the will go crazy, and they've recreated that tonight here. Dana White, president, CEO of UFC, a dear friend. He's the former president has shown up at these events and been cheered. Here he is at the podium. Take a listen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dana White. I am the CEO and president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So two weeks ago, I got a call from President Trump asking me if I'd be willing to speak tonight. As usual, there was no pressure, no demands. He asked me as a friend, and of course, I said yes. Then, after I accepted his offer, he sent me a text message, and I just want to read to you a little piece of what President Trump wrote to me. Dana, I'm so honored that you will be doing the introduction at the National Republican Convention. Think of it as the biggest fight you ever had, a fight for our country and even the world. I only wish you didn't have to interrupt your family trip, but I hope they understand they love you and they know how important this is. Now think about this. This man's running for president of the United States. He's fighting for the future of this country and he's concerned about interrupting my family trip. That's the President Trump that I know, a man who truly cares about people. The mainstream media likes to push the narrative that he doesn't care about anyone but himself. I absolutely know that's not the truth because I've been friends with this guy for 25 years.